You like my hair? Gee, thanks. Just colored it. Just bought it. Just colored it. Just bought it. Just colored it. I want it. I got it. I want it. I got it. I want it. Girl, I got it. And that's all I'm saying. If I, mother, want that, then I'll, I get it, okay, girl? <sighs> Great, all right. All right, I am done with that. So, today, we're gonna go down memory lane with Ariana Miss Grande. The evolution of Ariana Grande's hair is, well, just as important as the evolution of life. You have to know how man became man and how Ariana became ponytail loving Ariana. Equally as important, equally. Mankind, Ariana's ponytail. To me, I don't see a difference, completely even. We all know that the education system is archaic and needs to be reformed because you're not taught about Ariana Grande's hair in history class. And that to me is just a crime. It's, it's just a lot and I'm not okay with it. So let's go through the timeline of Ariana's hair, things I like about it, things I don't like about it. Some interesting things you might have not known before this video about Ariana's hair in the past. And also the hair that I liked the most on Ariana throughout the years and last but not Least, I'm gonna show you guys how you can achieve the classic Ariana Pony at home today easily with a few steps. Okay, let's do it. So let's go back 85 million years ago when this evolution started. What? What? Oh, the wrong evolution again. I'm sorry guys. Let's go back to 2008. That, that's, that, that's the right one. All right, cool. She had her natural brown hair, about a level four, I'd say even darker maybe. It was nice, it was pretty, it was boring. Nice, but not pop star nice. All right, moving on. 2010, when Victorious was released. Listen, I don't know the real dates, but the Victorious fan column, that's what they said. 2010 was when it started. I never actually watched the show, but I did see Ariana with the red hair. This red hair was a thing. It looked really good on her. I think the red was kind of dope. It really worked for her and her skin tone and it was it was quite a moment in time and it really just, it was like, I'm here. I have red hair and I am cool. Back in 2010, that was a cool thing to do is dye your hair red and look kind of emo, you know? And I was definitely here for it. But this is also like the, the start of the end of Ariana Grande's hair, if you know what I mean. She once said in an interview, I had to bleach my hair and dye it red every other week for the first four years of playing Cat, which I think was Victorious or that other spin-off show of Victorious. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Oh my God, all of her fans hate me now. This is not really making any sense to me because I don't understand why her hair got so damaged. All she had to do was bleach the roots every like, two weeks or whatever, and then put a toner on the ends to keep them nice and vibrant. So it, hypothetically speaking, it shouldn't have damaged her hair unless the person doing it was not experienced and was overlapping the color a million times, which is probably what happened and all her hair broke off. So RIP to Ariana's hair, um, which is, you'll see. 20 one one 2011 was when the ponytail was born. <gasps> the ponytail was born, ah! Oh my God, okay. So Ariana once said in an interview, I feel like there's a thousand different ways to do a ponytail, a million. It brings me so much joy, honestly. Every time I put my hair up, it's like a surprise. Wow, I wish that I was that excited about me putting my hair in a ponytail. I have some life reflection to do after this video. She's still rocking the red hair, but also added a ponytail to it, which little did she know, that was gonna be her thing. And that was how things were gonna work. And that was the thing of hers. And all right, great. From 2011, we go to 2012. It was more iconic than 2011 because do you know what happened this year with Ariana's hair? Do you, you don't? The half up ponytail situation was born. The, the look that she is most known for, the look that everybody recreates, the look that everybody wants because Ariana has it and she is a bad, so I do have to say this look was not my favorite. Uh, I think that they were working with what they had at the time, which was not a lot of hair on Ariana's head because of the whole victorious hair coloring situation that we should not speak of anymore because I'm sure Ariana doesn't like to talk about. I'm sure she's a little scarred from it. But if her hair didn't break off in the show Victorious, she wouldn't have the iconic half up like she does now. So you guys, Anything bad that happens in your life, usually something good comes out of it. Who knew that I could make an inspiring video out of an Ariana Grande hair video? What? Ah, 
Oh my God, I need a raise. I don't work for anybody. So I have to give myself the raise. All right, so still with the red hair. This is 2012 and we still have the red hair. And I, again, was here for the red hair. I just was here for it. Later in 2012, like halfway through, she decided she just wasn't here for the red anymore. And that is why she eventually went brunette back to her, her roots. I did like this color. I like her hair brown. I think it complements her skin tone a lot. I think the red brings out a lot more of the warmth in her skin, but I think the brown really just makes her look sun-kissed and fabulous and I think the brown's great. This is when she started to grow some inches real quick. Like some inches that weren't natural. Do you guys remember back in, I don't know, maybe it was like 2010, maybe a little earlier than that, when people didn't understand the concept of extensions and only celebrities were doing extensions. Like you would see them on the carpet one day and they would all of a sudden have long hair and you're like, how did their hair grow so fast? Because there was no social media. Nobody was telling other people how their hair was growing so fast. And I'm like, girl, it's literally fake. Apparently the extensions started because her hair was was just so damaged and so messed up that she was like, I'm gonna start wearing my hair back to hide all those little like edges that are broken off. And then I'm gonna start adding extensions to give me the inches back that I once lost because of a roll in a show. I think that the inches were very big back then. And I think that it was it was good for the time. I'm not like crazy about this particular look. I think that somebody needs to fix her hairline a bit and need some polishing, but it was cute. It was cute. <gasps> 2013, you guys may think that this was my favorite year, but I'm gonna surprise all of you. I'm gonna surprise you. I'm known for liking people with blonde hair. I am, I am the first to admit it that I love blonde hair. Sue me, I don't know, what do you want me to say? I don't like it, fake it, sorry, I like it. Ariana though, I hate it on Ariana. I hated this color. It matches her skin tone too much. I think she needs to either be dark, dark, or light light. It's this in between that's just not really working with her skin tone. I don't know. It needs a little more like, ugh, like color, vibrancy, life. I don't even need like all of this life. I can just have like a little life. She looks a little dead. She looks a little dead because of this color and doesn't really look very healthy. But this was that iconic half up situation. This is when it fully grew into fruition. This is when she had the extensions in. She had the side part bang moment going back and the very, very, very awkwardly thick ponytail with a piece of hair wrapped around it. And this is the first time we're really seeing it in 2013. I'm always here for like an iconic look. 2015, back to brown, darker than ever. It is looking fierce. She looks so much healthier with black hair. Please tell me that I'm not right or that I am right on that one because it looks divine dark and she's rocking the ponytail again at the Grammys and she looks great. I think that somebody still needs to figure out those baby hairs. Somebody needs to figure them out because I would not be happy if I were the hairstylist doing this hair and I saw these damn photos with these squiggly baby hairs. It, mm, it's just not gonna cut it these days. Do a keratin treatment on those baby hairs because we don't need to see them all curled up like that. No, you're trying to do a slick back ponytail. It's not gonna work for us but it looks good. And she proved once again, the ponytail is forever gonna evolve on Ariana. 2016 is when things got spicy. Just got real spicy at this point. This is when Chris Appleton, I believe, started doing her hair. Think he still does it, but this is when they started and this is when the look started coming through. They just came through the door and I wasn't prepared for them because she did this look when it was all braided back. She did a lot of braids for a year where they had little like hoops in them and I I loved it. I thought it was once again, her reinventing the classic ponytail and making updos a thing again. She's adding the inches every year. We're progressively getting longer hair and longer and longer. And I think there needs to be a point where we stop with the extensions. It's kind of hard to say when you're a hairstylist to like stop with the inches because all we want as a hairstylist is more hair and more hair. The more hair, the merrier. But at some point you gotta realize that it's not good for your damn client and it does not compliment her, all right? It cuts off half of her body when her hair's too long. So you gotta, you know, but then again, who doesn't like a lot of hair, whatever. <sighs> It looks good. Okay, adding this moment, 2016 moment was like good. It was good. Oh, this one. This one. Whoa. Who the f did her hair? Who, girl. I hope these are pre-colored extensions and nobody actually like did that in America because girl, whoo, that is some bad. 
bad color, man. Oh, I mean, even her actual hair color is, it's not good. It's definitely not good. It's not. This was also the year though that everybody showed up to the TV VMAs where everybody showed up literally with the worst ombres. I remember Sierra showed up with the worst ombre I have ever seen in my life. Maybe it wasn't 2016. Okay, a little earlier than 2016. I'm gonna say 2014. 2014 was when it really came out. Like I was doing ombres in like 2013, but then there was like, ooh, everybody's obsessed with it. 2014 and 2015. No, maybe it was 2016. You know what? I don't. Maybe around 2015. Okay, we're gonna go with that. So 2015 was when everybody kind of showed up to the red carpet with these ratchet. Half of them, half of them were beautiful, perfectly done ombres, and then half of them were just like, girl, where did you go? You're rich as hell. Who's doing this to your hair and allowing you to go on the red carpet? I, I need to know because they, they need to stop. We're almost done with the evolution. 2018, man, was a year for Harihana Hyundai. Harihana Hyundai was on the cover of Elle and British Vogue, and boy, she has to this day, I believe, never looked better. Whoa. I mean, smoke show? Yeah. This blonde looked divine. Her hair looks so good down. Ah, uh, she looks mature, like a grown woman, and the color is flawless. It's definitely a wig, but it is a gorgeous, fabulously done wig, which I believe Chris Appleton did. I mean, she just looks so grown up and her makeup looks sickening. Everything in this picture, I mean, was just, whew, took my breath away. Her hair was just incredible. I think it's a good length. It's still seriously long, but everything was working for her. And I would like to see this look done again on her. I, I wanna see her wear her hair down more. And then the British Vogue cover, she's serving me sex appeal. Again, blonde. They made her look a little bit different than she does in real life, just a little bit. I love that she's not wearing a cat eye. I am a big fan of people switching up their looks a lot. I think this hair works because there was nice lighting, but again, it's it's a little bit too in between like dark and light. I think she would have looked better with lighter hair, but again, she looks so good in this picture. Mature, like a dangerous woman, if you will. She looks great. Which brings us to the current time, 2019. She has been serving us a lot of different looks this year already. I mean, we have the Seven Rings music video where she gave us a blonde moment and a brunette moment and she's giving us everything. So I think this is the year of just Ariana giving us everything we've ever wanted because we've has, she's had two albums in the past, what, I don't know, a few months or something. And majority of the songs have been <laughs> my life anthems. And so Ariana, I thank you for that. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. So now it leads us to a little demonstration time. You guys wanna know how to achieve this hair moment, this classic Ariana half updo side part hair moment. Then I'm gonna show you how to do it at home in a few easy steps. So what you're gonna need to accomplish the Ariana Grande half up moment situation is a head. Hopefully you have one. Second of all, if you don't have inches naturally, you're gonna have to buy some because you can't have a short little Ariana Grande half up ponytail stub. It's just not, it's not gonna work out the same way. These are 22 inches. You can do 18 if you want, whatever you wanna do. One and a quarter inch curling iron or whatever kind of curling iron you have. It's also a flat iron will work if you know how to curl hair a flat iron, a comb, a buck, a little, just like ponytails and pins and stuff, and some hairspray, and that's it. First, we're gonna separate this front section. We're gonna do a deep side part, just like that, and we're gonna separate out two inches over here to just behind the ear, perfect. And then we're gonna take that section and just clip it out of the way. A little space button in the front, perfect. So that's clipped out of the way. Hopefully you have a little bit of experience putting in extensions if you have hair that needs extensions. We're just gonna try and make a clean line, starting at the bottom and putting in some small extensions from here up. I would try and put, you know, a few pieces at the bottom, not only one or two because it just won't be thick enough. So try and put like at least three or four to give you some inches and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. You can tease it if you want to when you put the extensions and you don't have to. It'll just give you more of like a sturdy feel if you do put teasing in. I'm gonna try and do this one from behind so I can show you guys the first one. I like to put this first one really close to the edge just because it looks weird when you pull the hair forward and you have these little pieces 
straggly pieces look really ugly. Also, if you your hair is really short and you're putting in really long extensions, you can also braid up this bottom hair and then put the extension over it. That way when you pull your hair forward, you don't have little like tiny pieces coming through, if that makes sense. So put a little bit of hairspray. I'm using Orbe, super fine. All right, so that's the first one, and I'm just gonna continue to do that up the head. Um, and I'm gonna fix this once I turn it around because it looks a little ratchet, but you get the idea of it. You just don't wanna put the extensions any farther than say the top of your ears back because that's where the half up ponytail is gonna go. So I have two tracks in so far and now I'm just gonna take my curling iron and do some loose beach waves. And Ariana doesn't really like have perfect beach waves. It's kind of like her look to go for like some really easy looking waves typically. So I'm just gonna wrap it around like so. And we're just gonna do some really nice little waves. Don't worry if it looks kind of crunchy and weird right now because we're just gonna brush it out later. Perfect. A little hairspray and that'll be that. Again, it's gonna look ratchet right now, but we're gonna brush out later. You're gonna wanna put in a lot of hair or else it's just not gonna look very Ariana-ish because she tends to have a ton of hair in her head. I'm gonna put in one more track and do the same thing over again and I'll see you guys for the next step. I now we got those curls going, we got those curls popping. Who am I? We're gonna do the next step, which is to make the ponytail. So typically for this part, I would buy a actual ponytail extension piece, which is what Ariana uses, I'm pretty sure. But I don't have that. So we're gonna make do with what we have here. We're gonna use the last few. We're gonna save one though for the very last bit. This is gonna be her ponytail, basically. We're gonna keep that section in the front pinned out. That piece is gonna come back later. So we're gonna keep this pinned in the front. And then we're gonna take from the back of her ears, all of this hair in the front, everything is gonna go back. Make sure her tracks don't show though. Just like that, all right? So that's the next little section. We're gonna take all that hair back and we're just gonna put it in a regular high, high ponytail. Right at the top of the head, like right here. Definitely hairspray that all back. And then boom, we're gonna take one of these. Make sure that's really high on the top of the head. And then flip the ponytail over and I'm just gonna curl the rest of this the same way I did the rest of the hair. That is gonna be the bottom of the hair all finished, but again, we're gonna shake it all out later. It's gonna look way prettier than this, I promise. And now we're gonna take the ponytail and tease it. Tease it just like this. Boom. Make it really nice and big. Yeah, now that's some Ariana stuff going on now. That, yeah. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're gonna take one piece of this hair from the back and I'm gonna wrap it all around the base of this ponytail. And this is gonna act as an anchor for the next step. We're just gonna anchor this down with some pins and really get that hairspray in there. Do a quick curl to this ponytail. And then before we put the other extensions in the ponytail up here, this is gonna be a lot longer and a lot fuller. We're gonna now deal with this section up front that we have pinned back in the first place. And you guys know, hi, bye. And this section is just gonna be very nicely, ah, looks like Ariana. This is gonna be nicely smoothed out like this. A little brushy poo. This gets pulled down flat to the face like that. And then we're gonna tease a little spot back here. This is gonna act as an anchor for this hair to sit on. Do a little twist and then it's gonna get pinned back. Perfect, and that's where the hair kind of hides and then this goes over it. And you guys, please don't come for me because <laughs> this is a mannequin. It's not gonna really work out as well as on a real head. Like her hair doesn't part where you want it to part. It just like all goes the same way. But I think that looks quite decent for um, this mannequin. Perfect. Now that hair sits right over that so you can't see where it's pinned back. And then you're gonna curl the ends. Perfect. All right, almost done, almost done. Uh, now we're gonna take <laughs> the extensions and we're just gonna start pinning them all around the base of this ponytail like this. They're just gonna wrap around and pin into place. Woo, we're getting those inches, baby. Pin that into place also just for extra security. And so that is the extensions right there. 
Girl, that's a lot of hair. I'm living for it. <laughs> Luxurious. Okay, we're gonna take the last extension finally and put this one around the pony at the base. I'm gonna like do that sort of thing and then pin it in the back of the ponytail like this. We're gonna pin it right here where nobody's gonna see it. And again, usually this would be a lot easier if I had a an actual ponytail extension. They're really helpful and like easy to use. All right, yeah, that pin in the back. Ravel it around the base of the ponytail. And then pin the end. All right, to finish this look off, I'm just gonna curl this entire ponytail and you'll see when it's done. Now for my favorite part of the whole thing is breaking up these waves and really like styling it to how you want it to look. I just like a more like messy, loose wave situation. So I'm just gonna break these waves up and then it'll be all finished. Yeah! All right, and there you have it. That is my quick-ish version of Ariana's half up, half down ponytail. I think it came out pretty nice. This is the first time I ever did Ariana's exact look and I'm living for it. Honestly, it's, it's definitely a look. I think Ariana would have had more hair than this in her head, that's for sure. And would have used ponytail and an actual hair extension that's made for ponytails, but I may do with what I had. If you guys try this at home, I'd love to see how it goes. Tag me on Instagram in a picture if you end up uploading one. And with that said, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at BradMondoNYC. And thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time. Peace. Yes, Ariana, yes, Ariana. Yes, sorry, Anna. Like my hair? Gee, thanks. Brad just did it. Me? Stop.